All right. Uh, I don't know if y'all can hear me very good, but real quick, <clears throat> I'm running a test right now. First of all, I know it's been a while since you see me on the computer screen like this. I don't know if you can notice my crispy, uh, voluptuous, amazingly smooth voice coming through on my brand new head uh, microphone. Uh, yeah, this mainly this video is just a, a test of how good the mic is, okay? You're gonna have to excuse the, the lack of content here. I was just looking for an excuse to use this thing. Uh, and with that comes some more church announcements. Uh, me and a couple of my buddies, we're going to be doing another podcast. So instead of neglecting one podcast that I already am supposed to be doing, I'm going to be neglecting two of them. <laughs> so, you know, for the people who care, you know, there's that. Uh, I got a whole new setup in here and changed this part of my our room in here into a s sort of an office area. So it's kind of is dedicated to all this shit here so uh, i don't really have an excuse of equipment or no space or you know the only thing i can say is the soundproofing is bad my computer is right next to the mic so you might be able to hear the fan but i i honestly don't feel like doing the work to figure out how to deal with that it's not that bad you listen to shit with way worse audio quality uh, i think y'all can handle it um, but yeah, uh, we got another podcast coming. I don't know what for, I don't know when. We still in the planning stages, still figuring all that out. Uh, so you know, <clears throat> it's gonna be fire though, because this is me, of course. I'm like the, I'm a beast at this shit, okay? Hey, here's a hot take, okay? Uh, number one, uh, rest in piss to the fresh and fit podcast okay i'm smoking on the hot pack they deserve everything they got coming to them i'm glad they demonetized <laughs> fuck them okay that's number one uh and i always said this me to me and uh and chandler and xavier whenever we would do our shows and whenever i do stuff with just any of my other friends we had way better and more engaging conversations doing our little bootleg show that I was running off my PlayStation using my <laughs> skull candy headphones than they would ever have on the goddamn fresh and fit okay first of all uh the nigga named fresh don't know how to speak english all right the nigga can't talk he's stumbling and bumbling all over all his words he's mush mouth nigga i don't know how you run a podcast and you're constantly stuttering all right sometimes I stutter every now and then, okay? Because I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to say. He's stuttering because he just got a speech impediment. That's different. Okay? I'm I'm stuttering as a buffer to uh, <laughs> to figure out what I'm going to say next. So if you hear me saying uh and all that a lot, it's because my brain is working. But when that nigga is stuttering, it's because that's just how he talks. His 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 mouth is just configured that way okay the nigga can't talk he can't speak english he has the personality of a wet paper towel i mean <laughs> the, the you know myron is uh doing a lot of the heavy lifting on that show and he ain't shit either you know their whole platform is based off of <sighs> talking trash to women they saying women ain't shit i mean it ain't really hard to do anybody could really do that you don't really have to be a intellectual to to say women ain't shit and yell at ig thoughts for four hours straight <clears throat> so you know i always felt like we run a much better uh more interesting more uh more nuanced show than somebody like that somebody who has a million subscribers or like a million and a half subscribers like there's no way that these niggas it, it, it's this is proof that america is not a meritocracy okay? <laughs> okay this is they didn't get there through merit they they knew the right people they had the right connections they you know they did uh the right moves at the right time to be able to to do what they did all right <clears throat> 
our our shit is way better than them. And there's a lot of other niggas whose podcast is like that, where they're really on camera bullshitting for an hour and a half. Like, it, it, there's nothing interesting being uh, discussed. There's no interest in conversation. Uh, you know. What are they talking about? They ain't talking about shit. They're just r- saying random shit in a nice microphone. People be like, yeah, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> this is such a productive conversation. Now, I, I talked about this before when motherfuckers uh, agree with each other for three hours straight on a podcast. And people be like, that's a productive conversation. I'd be like, no, the fuck it's not. Like, y'all just sat there and circle jerk the whole time. The real uh, conversation is when motherfuckers disagree with each other. But anyway, all that hating and uh, sidebar and aside. As that was all just intro for me saying that I got a, a new podcast coming and uh, we're working on formatting that, getting a schedule for that. You know, everybody's working regular jobs and shit. Motherfuckers going to school. So we got to actually figure out how to uh, come up with a time frame that'll work for everybody because we we, you know, me and my friends were okay with just doing it on a uh, live stream, but these guys want to be in studio and make it kind of professional. And I don't have a problem with that. You know, I'm good with doing the live streams. It's easier and con- more convenient for me, but you know, I'm okay with doing it their way too. And this, you know, I can show that I can run a show like that as well. It's not as hard as they try to make it out to be, you know, they'd be like, you have to donate to us. We need all your money. Cause we have a whole staff and the whole staff has cost so much money to run and we got to buy all this equipment. <laughs> you have to help us. <laughs> well, meanwhile, they're making millions of dollars off of super chats and they're still begging for fucking donations to help quote unquote run the show. Okay. But I'm sorry. I, I just, it bothers me. Okay. The motherfuckers, uh, this podcasting shit really is a grift and like anybody can do this shit i can do this shit with my eyes closed if i've been doing it the way i've been doing it with literally zero effort if i actually thought about putting some effort into this shit i i know i'd be one of the best we'd have one of the best i mean we already have one of the best in my opinion but you know that i guess that don't count that's just me but anyway man i'm terrible at this game <clears throat> the <laughs> uh, I'm I'm sorry about all these sidebars. Okay, I'm uh, I'm kind of scatterbrained today. I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to get off this island. <laughs> but uh, that was, this is all just an excuse for me to uh, use my cool new microphone. I don't know if you can notice the audio difference. I th- I feel like I can because I was using uh just just a little secret for everybody else just so y'all know i'm not bullshitting when i be like them when they talk about uh equipment is so expensive and we got to pay for equipment we need a million dollars to run this podcast i was i've been using uh our literal microphone from the rock band game you know the rock band game from on ps3 (laughs) the microphone that costs 10 bucks i've been using that this whole time so if anybody ever said, wow, you have such a great mic quality. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's what it was. I didn't pay two hundred and fifty dollars for a microphone. It was ten dollars. And y'all niggas didn't even know the difference. Uh, but now my granddad actually uh, gifted me a what, quote unquote good mic now. It's got a uh, I'm a condenser mic now, guys. I have a, a audio interface. You know, it's one of those Audio Technica hundreds of dollars. I didn't pay for this shit. I would never pay hundreds of dollars for a microphone when niggas is out here running podcasts using a phone speaker. <laughs> I would never do no shit like that. But now that I have a decent microphone, I have no reason to not go hard on this podcast shit. Uh, I can't use it on my PlayStation, so I have no choice. I'm gonna have to actually do something with this. So that's gonna be that. I'm uh, 
and with me and my friends uh on the usual podcast that we do uh unfortunately it's really hard to coordinate everybody everybody's got new jobs we all got wives and kids now uh in order for me to even get on this thing i i had to be beefing with my <laughs> like me and drea my wife we're beefing right now so she's you know how women when they uh mad at you they start ignoring you so i just used that time to be like you know what fuck it i got an extra hour or so i'll get on here and talk my shit <clears throat> i am not good at this game shit uh but yeah, I want to get on here with my uh, boys and do another one just for the culture. You know, hopefully we'll get another one in. Hopefully I can get one in uh, using a, a stream, doing a video stream where I can use my mic instead of getting it on a PlayStation or something like that. <sighs> um, other than that that's pretty much it I've been watching a lot of uh, I've been watching a lot of that nigga uh, pocket watching with JT you know the financial guidance guy and I'm, I'm gonna say this before I go I didn't I planned on this being only like a two minute video but I, I gotta get all this out while it's in my head it's the only way any content gets made on this <laughs> on this page I gotta get whatever is in my brain I gotta say it while I'm thinking about it or I'm gonna lose it forever, but uh, I, I'm really liking this pocket watch with JT guy because uh, he's a person who has actual uh, legitimate credentials in the financial and entrepreneurship field. You know, he's somebody that I actually should be taking serious, and not people like. <laughs> I know I sound like a super hater, but I have to. I'm gonna have to keep reiterating. It, fucking fresh and fit. All right, they try to come off as like their business uh, people. And I'm using fresh and fit because they're the perfect example, but they're not the only ones. They're pretty much everybody in this goofy red pill space. Uh, what's another good example? Uh, People like the whatever podcast, the sauce cast, the value tainment, like the white dudes actually kind of have it worse than the black dudes because the black dudes, they're cosplaying as businessmen, but the white dudes, they're literally just doing scams. Like they're like scamming people with their uh, courses and shit. And it's like what I said in the podcast that I did with uh, Xavier and then before that I never got to put out. They're not really teaching people anything. They're using a lot of lingo. They're using a lot of entrepreneurship jargon. But nobody ever really like there's not any. What the fuck? <laughs> this game is terrible. There's not any people that listen to Valuetainment and Soscast who wasn't already uh, well off to begin with who all of a sudden became rich and that goes the same for people like fresh and fit and sneeko and fucking andrew tate for to uh if we being real like niggas don't read watch their videos and get rich all these motherfuckers that be on here talking about i was thank you sneeko andrew tate you saved my life you taught me how to get fit you taught me how to run a business you taught me how to get rich and like no they didn't actually <laughs> they didn't teach you any of that shit i don't know why niggas keep saying that I, I don't know if that's just the thing you say uh when you're talking to somebody you really idolize or whatever but like i've watched i've gone through and searched on these niggas videos and they actually don't teach you any of that stuff they don't teach you they might have a video called how to start a business how to get fit excuse me but most of that shit is like very basic level shit that most people already know like uh if you want to get fit you have to take in less calories than you uh burn or whatever you know like easy simple uh base level information 
and uh, part of why their videos the free videos on YouTube is the easy basic information like that is because that's just a hook to get you in to pay for their course because they all have fucking courses and all their courses uh, basically amount to instead of doing one Google search like the regular video show the courses are like if you did about four or five google searches <laughs> like, like this shit this is not exclusive information that you can only get from these guys like they're they're not really teaching you anything they're either not really teaching you anything or they're teaching you shit that you probably already knew or can find in a google search and they're charging you thousands of dollars for their course like i feel like this is just a uh, rule of thumb for me if this is a, a course that uh, I can't uh, be accredited for like I can't if this is a course that I can't transfer into college credits then it's a waste of goddamn time because all the the courses or classes uh, for internet shit you know people try to make it like oh you, you can't learn nothing from school you gotta uh, learn it in, in the streets <laughs> or you gotta learn it from uh, these underground individuals and really no you don't like pretty much every school nowadays uh, all the colleges have these internet and computer type classes like how to do video editing how to program how to you know make videos how to make uh, do photoshop how to make music like anything that's considered like an internet career now there's like actual college courses for it and you know the benefit to that is if you're a broke motherfucker like most of the people who listen to uh the andrew tates and the sneakos and the fresh and fits uh you can uh go to those classes for free most likely if you got a financial aid so instead of paying thousands of dollars to a nigga who's uh who's not even the one giving the class who's most likely hired some other nigga to do the the class for you or straight up ripped the video from a youtube video <laughs> but i say all that to say these people aren't teaching you anything so uh i don't i hate that these are the people that uh, the internet sees as like the super geniuses that everybody needs to listen to if they want to be successful when really there's already people in the fields uh, in those areas that can teach you better that can teach you in a um, in a more traditional way but along with that is uh, is is more guaranteed because Another thing with these guru motherfuckers is that not only is their information surface level, a lot of the times it'd be uh, uh, low key scams. And I don't mean like scamming people, but is they're the ones being scammed. Like, uh, what's a good example? A lot of them are teaching stupid shit like drop shipping and investing in a fucking meme coin and apparently that's gonna make you rich like shit that uh at one point was a good way to make money but now it's uh, that bubble has burst right like the crypto bubble has burst like all those meme coins are fucking worthless now uh nfts <laughs> remember nfts remember what everybody was acting like nfts is the way to get rich at one point it was but you know that ship has sailed but these fake guru niggas they're still teaching you that stuff versus if you listen to a person like jt who's in the field uh and is licensed to to teach what he's teaching who actually went to school and is not a, a youtube uh, academic right they didn't get all their information from googling like you could have got your information from googling they actually went to an accredited college and took courses on uh the subject matter so and they're also licensed so there's a, an accountability of if 
if they give you the wrong information or if they tell you to do that some shit that might actually be illegal which is what a lot of these guys do as well if they tell you <laughs> when they tell you to do some shit that's like fraud fraudulent you know there's some accountability if you're dealing with a licensed business consultant or a financial consultant right there's some con uh, accountability <clears throat> Because they're licensed by the government versus if you're just listening to a nigga on the Internet and they tell you to do something illegal and you do it and you go to jail. You can't say, well, Andrew Tate said it's all right. Like, <laughs> like you, you, it don't work like that, you know, and uh, because it's like that, the Andrew Tates of the world, they really can go hog wild because all they got to say is, well, you didn't have to listen to me. I'm just a nigga on the Internet versus JT. If he tells you to do some shit and then you follow it and then and it turns out to be illegal, then you can blame it on him and say, well, I was just uh, I was given the wrong information. <laughs> you know, and you might not get away with it because uh not having knowledge isn't really an excuse in the law, but they might go a little easier on you versus if you listening to Andrew Tate or one of these other niggas fresh and fits or something, you know, they just go be like, you're a, a fucking scammer. You're going to jail or you're going to pay this big ass fine. You know, who in the world is calling me? So I like that. Uh, uh, I like people like JT. I like people like whatever happened to common sense even if we disagree on who is this even if we disagree on politics because we actually have a lot of disagreements as far as politics goes i i respect uh the profession you know i respect uh, a person who put their work in and put their time in to get good at their craft and take it seriously you know and it's not they're not grifting because their you know their name is attached to the work that they do and they care about that you know there's just something to say about uh people who have an honest who work an honest job and and make an honest living versus these inter internet motherfuckers who make all their money off of selling courses to you off of uh convincing you that first they first convince you that they know what they're talking about and then they convince you uh if you listen to me you'll get rich like i am and because there's no accountability when eventually of course it doesn't work for you because they're not even doing the shit that they're trying to tell you you need to do you know it, it <laughs> i don't know i'm just rambling at this point but yeah uh, essentially stop listening to these fake guru niggas man listen I, I like listening to motherfuckers who actually work in uh work legitimately in in a field and that's how they make their money not motherfuckers who they're already rich and they're selling you a course on how to do some shit that they ain't doing <laughs> like that don't make no sense right like why would you listen to somebody uh say that you're gonna get rich off of drop shipping if they didn't get rich off of drop shipping like does that make any sense oh why did i do that see i'm the i'm an idiot too that's why i don't give financial advice i let the professionals do that uh but yeah there's just something to be said about uh a person Working an honest job, making an honest living, and doing it the right way. And they, because you know they're not grifting. So when they say some shit, they they mean it, and it, most likely it's true. Unfortunately, with people, uh, these internet entrepreneurs, they really could say anything, and as long as they got the lingo right and they sound like they know what they're talking about, they're just gonna continue to keep getting rich. This is this is just proof, you know. Motherfuckers really believe that America is a meritocracy, and that really, that really bothers me. And if you don't, if it, for my peoples who may not know what meritocracy means, that means, uh. 
it means it's a uh, we're in a place where if you work hard and you you put in the work then you're going to be successful and all it takes is for you to just uh, work hard and be honest and do the right thing and then you're going to make it in the end because it don't happen like that the scammers the schemers the pieces of shit the people who take advantage and exploit other people they're the ones who end up making it the farthest and the people working an honest living and doing the right thing and being honest and not exploiting people they're lucky if they make it up to the the middle class the upper middle class you know all the uh most successful richest people they didn't get there uh innocently and without exploiting other people that's the nature of the capitalist system it's not a meritocracy it's the opposite of a meritocracy most of the people in the, the positions that they're in are there because they knew a guy it's a it's all nepotism it's all nepotism it's all inheritance it's it's bullshit it's not a meritocracy at all I mean, and even then, like, okay, whatever. We accept that the world is fucked up and it's not a meritocracy and niggas, niggas can get it the easy way and some niggas can't. That's cool, whatever. I mean, it's not cool, but let's accept it for the sake of argument. Uh, don't look at the person who's working the uh, regular nine to five job like the JT. as like, oh, why would I listen to you? You're not richer than Andrew Tate. And it's like, first of all, Andrew Tate and Fresh and Fit and all the rest of these niggas are uh, literal scammers. I mean, in Andrew Tate's case, he's an alleged sex trafficker and made his money sex trafficking over 70 women. If we listen to his videos and go according to what he said. But also, like, JT's doing pretty well for himself, too. Like, he's not a low-level financial advisor. Like, he's, he's getting decent money. He's living a decent life. And I don't understand why people, uh, they can't, well, I do know why. It's because of social media. But they can't just be like, okay, maybe I, I won't be rich. But, you know, I could live decent. I could have a decent house and have a decent car. I could be happy with that. Niggas can't be happy with just living a normal life and being comfortable. Like, what's wrong with just being comfortable? Why, if somebody is just comfortable and raising their kids and they have a decent car, they have two and a half kids, they got a, a decent house, you know, may not be the newest, biggest house, but it's it's a, a place to stay. It's clean. It's, it's nice. It's, it can fit everybody. It's, everybody's not cramped on top of you. Like, why why is that not enough? Why you got to be... Why is everybody trying to be Andrew goddamn Tate? You know, you don't have to do that. Ain't nothing wrong with just... That's why I was like, bro, stop listening to these fresh and fit Andrew Tate fucking valuetainment whatever podcast niggas. Stop listening to them. Because first of all, it don't work. <laughs> Number one is that what they're saying doesn't work. Because what they're telling you to do is not what they're doing. That's number one. What they're doing to get rich is convincing you to give them money. Or if you're... uh the people who just watch the free videos you watch the ads that they get money from or if you do one of the people who send in super chats they send super chats like what helped me uh learn this the 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 best recently is listening to uh what's that guy's name from fresh and fit the mumble mouth nigga uh fresh right i the this is supposed to be one half of this business minded fucking high value man podcast right these are supposed to be businessmen these are people who are supposed to be teaching other people how to run a business and i've watched him talking to what i'm a, i'm pretty sure is another scammer i think it's a 
he was talking to Grant Cardone and they were doing one of their performative ass, you know, how business people be like, if you're a real businessman, you should be able to sell me anything. And they were like, they asked him, you want to sell yourself or you want to sell this water bottle? And he said he wanted to sell himself. And they were like, nah, don't do that. Sell the water bottle. Already fucking uh, little broing him. And he decides, okay, uh, 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 well, you see this water bottle right here? Uh, It's pretty good water. I mean, uh, you should buy it. Like, (laughs) he was stumbling over his words. Like, even in this fake-ass wannabe businessman uh, grift, he's not even good at that. He's he's not a businessman. He's a nigga that got lucky uh, by getting on a, a famous podcast. Like he didn't get rich from running business. Apparently, he was working customer service at a telecommunication company. You know, he's basically like, cause I'm a I'm a technician with Xfinity, right? He basically was the was the guy answering the phones <laughs> when we call when we need help. You know. This is this is not a high value businessman that we need to be taking all our information from to learn how to be rich. So number one, it doesn't work. And number two, uh, all you're doing is making them rich. You don't gain anything from the information that they're giving you. You're perpetuating the scams that they're running. You're making the world actively worse. Not only are you perpetuating the scams, you're perpetuating all the other fucking political shit that comes with it too. Because apparently, being a right uh, uh, one of these red pill people uh, means that you also have to be a fucking conservative right winger as well. <sighs> and along with that, you have to hate women and think women ain't shit and think that uh, women need to stay home and take care of the kids you know that women ain't actually people and they shouldn't be able to vote and you know (laughs) all that shit like it's a package deal not only are you getting the bad financial information but you're getting bad politics and bad uh social dynamics from them too like everything's bad about these motherfuckers so don't listen to them listen to jt you need to compartmentalize instead of trying to go to one person for everything like you're doing with Andrew Tate and all them like uh, fresh and fit you want to learn how to get fit from them you want to learn how to get rich from them you want to learn how to talk to girls from them instead of trying to do that compartmentalize listen to a, a actual business person about how to do business listen to an actual financial advisor about how to uh, deal with your finances oh my god I need to watch a video on how to play video games because <laughs> I'm terrible you know listen to people like regular people like you you don't have to listen to these people because they they have the flashy videos of them in bugattis and shit you know it's okay to take advice oh my fucking god (laughs) it's okay to take advice from a regular person instead of trying to be like and i said this in another video uh when I was in the car, I was like, instead of trying to be like Andrew Tate and Fresh and Fit and Sneeko, you should be trying to be like your dad. You should be trying, or if your dad is a piece of shit, maybe a uncle or a cousin or whoever you have in your real life that's a positive influence. Don't try to be like these niggas. You know, I feel like you'd be better off if you're not trying to be like these motherfuckers. Try to be a decent person that you know in your personal life you know there needs to be a respect for uh, the average everyday guy like we need to go back to that we need to go back to uh, regular niggas being cool again like it's okay to be a regular nigga you don't have to be uh, super rich you could be okay you could have a, a okay life that what you're trying to avoid is being poor. Nobody wants to be poor, but you can you could you could strive for being okay. And if you get something more than that, that that's that's even better. That's extra. But when you're trying to be rich, when you're trying to be f- uh, fancy and flashy like Andrew Tate and Sneeko, you're 
you're asking to be a part of a, a negative worldview to be a part of a negative uh, a negative class of people the wrong class of people I think and we shouldn't be encouraging people to be like that we should be encouraging people I mean, the world doesn't need more sneakos and uh, Andrew Tate's and Fresh and Fits the world needs plumbers the world needs electricians the world needs engineers and scientists and garbage workers and ditch diggers and the world needs people in the service industry the world needs people you know that is useful that's merit to me uh, a person who's working an actual job like that who actually provides value to the world that's merit not because you are able to exploit and take advantage of people and extract your excess of resources from them you're not valuable because of that just because you got rich it doesn't make you valuable because to the world you you didn't add anything you're a leech you're sucking from other people that's exactly what they're doing they're just s sucking resources from poor people hope that hope that they can make it out somehow like it's really sad when you think about it like the people who defend them the most are the ones getting taken advantage of them the worst or by them the worst you know i don't have a problem with people deciding okay i'm tired of being broke i need to do something about it that's good if you want to be a businessman that's good but these are not the people you need to listen to for that uh so, you know, shouts out to JT, shouts out to whatever happened to common sense, shouts out to the diggers who's doing it the right way. Like they, they have, they might even have a course, but it's, is first of all, a course that doesn't cost thousands and thousands of dollars and it's a, uh, or free sometimes. I think JT's course is actually free and it's not just like a free trial like i suck you in with the free one but then if you want more you got to pay like not actually free oh th was that all the stages shit that was quick oh no that's not all the stages sorry but you know just seek out uh you know what else you need to not listen to along with the andrew tates and the uh nikos who give off a air of of being businessmen we need to stop listening to fucking streamers okay we need to stop listening to goddamn aiden ross stop listening to uh what's his name nick fuentes i mean not even just because of uh his uh views on being successful in life you know he has other reasons why you shouldn't listen to him but don't listen to niggas who make their living from streaming on twitch and rumble and kick and youtube all day don't don't take your cues on life from people like that even uh like people i agree with like uh what's his name destiny and vosh and you know all the other lefty motherfuckers that i listen to I'm not going to take life advice from people like that because the type of life that they're living is not the life that I'm living. Their information is worthless to me. I don't, you know, it's not even because it's a scam because I don't think uh, those guys are scamming. They don't really have a reason to scam, but the information that they have for how to live doesn't work for me. And I don't know if it works for most people. Uh, damn it. I know their information on playing video games probably works. I need to listen to that. But um like I was watching a video with a uh, I really I swear y'all I thought this video was only going to be 2 minutes. <laughs> but I was watching a video with um god fucking damn it. I was watching a video with Destiny and Destiny was talking about uh how I don't remember exactly the words he was saying, but he was essentially saying like, you need to go to college, like going to college is the thing that people should do. And I, I kind of agree with his reasoning of like, you know, people really, they, uh, 
uh, romanticize the idea of trade schools. Like now the now the meme is like, bro, why are you going to college? Just go to trade school. Just get a, a trade. You'll be rich if you get a trade. And that's not necessarily that's become the new go to college at this point. Because that's not necessarily true either. A lot of the people in the trades, they'd be like, like what happens is everybody has stories of people who work trades who do well. But the thing is, the people who work trades who do well are usually like, and this is what Destiny said, and it's it's true. The people who do well, what well, I don't even know what the fuck just happened. The people who do well work in trades are usually small business owners. So you're not gonna find a person like a like a contractor or whatever who who's purely just a contractor you're not gonna find them being the ones making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year they can make a decent wage it's more than working at mcdonald's but it, you're not making it up into the upper middle class on working as a contractor alone a lot of the people who do well they run businesses like they have a contracting business like uh, if you're a, a landscaper and all you do is landscape and cut grass you're not really gonna get rich off of that if you run a landscaping business where you own the business and all the revenue from uh the landscaping goes purely to you then yeah you can do well like that but you have to start the business like <laughs> you're not gonna make it just purely from the trade you're making it uh selling your services uh from your business right because if you're doing it working for another company uh all the the money that's uh the customer's paying most of it is going to them you're not you're usually getting an hourly rate the amount of money that comes in from the customer from the services rendered is going to the 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 business owner you're not getting that so this whole idea of well just get a trade bro you could get rich just working a trade that's just the new version of bro go to college if you go to college everybody's gonna hire you like it don't work like that and that's okay too that doesn't mean that we don't use the trades as a uh what you call it as an alternative to college but what we need to stop lying to people and telling people that that's the answer and that that's it, you know that's the answer to all your problems is just get a trade bro because no it don't really work like that like in my field and i work in tele in telecom and in telecom this is a billion dollar industry right if you own a business if you own a telecom company you're gonna make a lot of money the problem is if you're coming in as just a worker like me for example if you're coming in as just a technician and you don't own any part of oh my fucking god <laughs> if you don't own it all the like the customer is paying uh the company to do the service the company is paying you to install it so it's not going to be you that gets rich from uh your trade it's going to be whoever you're working for so the idea of like oh you just do a trade and then you'll get rich it don't really work that way shit well if i have to focus a little bit But I said all that to say, uh, I understand uh, that that uh, mindset that Disney was saying. Like, I understand the reasoning behind it. But his answer was, just go to college. Like, he just circled back <laughs> to the other answer. And I'm like, no, bro. Like, you got to have a more nuanced strategy on how you, uh, how you navigate this this capitalist system right you have to play the game a little more uh, complex than that i think and you know it depends on the life you're trying to live if you want to be a, a professional then you're probably going to want to get a, a a college degree like even if you're really good at what you're trying to do or in or the field that you're trying to be a professional in they're not going to take you as seriously if you don't have a college degree that's just how it goes that's just that's just how 
that shit is. I think it's stupid, but that's just how they do things in that uh in that sector, right? Uh same with uh trades. Like if you want to be a plumber, then you're probably going to want to deal with the fact that you got to get your hands dirty. Like you're not going to be able to just get a trade. And that's another thing. Uh some people are uh they want to be in an air conditioned office and just sit around and push papers all day and then some people are better with working with their hands and we have to understand that uh if you're a person that just works with their hands uh the trade is the best option for you but you're capped you know what I'm saying? Like you're you're kind of capped at a certain level versus the person who oh my fucking god. If you're a person who wants to sit in an air conditioner uh air conditioned office and not really do shit and not get dirty, uh then you're not gonna be able to just uh go to trade school. You gotta you gonna have to get a uh degree. You gotta go to school. If you wanna make any real money if you want to be able to make a living working in an office you're gonna have to go to school and if you don't like oh my <laughs> let me end this soon in conclusion man uh stop listening to these gurus on the internet and listen to people like jt who first of all don't have anything to sell you and secondly they've proven that they have a uh they have the knowledge to be able to teach what they're talking about. That, that's really all I'm saying at this point. Um, and other than that, that's basically it. Uh, my podcast. I'm a well. The game is fucking glitched. I broke the game, y'all. I'm gonna have to actually reset this. But yeah, podcast is coming soon. I don't know when. I'm going to let you know when. I'm going to drop another video. I promise the next video I make is going to actually only be a couple of minutes. It's going to be actually church announcements. So just be on the lookout for that for the people who do care. All right. And uh, ooh, I didn't even know you can run under here. That's actually did I break the game again? Anyway, uh, y'all just be on the lookout. Okay. I'm a, uh, I'll, I'll be back with more information. Uh, uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Uh, okay.